don't make these mistakes at hairstylist barbing and the hair bladers saloon to avoid losing your glory your destiny and be initiated warning don't fall a victim this is how a man-made agent plating hair was exposed hair is the glory of a woman and hair is the glory of anybody and the, your destiny your glory is summarized in your head that is why fish begin to rot from the head in other words if anybody want to lose his or mind or run mad or have any issues the head begin to react immediately and then the person may start with experiencing migraine headache and from there the person will now be totally sick another thing is this every spirit that possesses you enters from this soft part of the head now when a child is born you will see that it is very very soft now whatever you do with this head matters a lot a lot of people have actually lost their glory their destiny their lives even their focus in life just because of manipulation from the head Samson is a good example of that manipulation what Delilah did with him and then his life not just about his glory and destiny entirely because when the hair begin to grow he made a request that God should allow him perishes with his enemy he fulfilled the destiny of destroying the Philistines but he, his life also was destroyed which was not the original intention of God so if only you follow me to the end of today's video I will tell you a first-hand story I know very well of how a mermaid agent was plating hair and then precautions you must take before visiting hair stylist breeders or barbing saloon but before then please give this video a thumbs up so that youtube algorithm will shift it to other people that need it as it is so may god bless you welcome back to this our beautiful liberation family in this particular channel we pray we read the bible in and out we believe in spiritual work based on the mysteries existing under this universe that god has been exposing to me because he actually is the one that said in jeremiah 33 call upon me i will answer you show you greater mighty things which you know not so if this is the very first time you are landing in this channel you are highly welcome please kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so as to always get my next upload for my returning subscribers i love you thank you for always stopping by so with your western time let's dive in once upon a time i was a part-time lecturer to a private university that uses a state university as a study center it happened that i came for lecture one day the student that, that is meant to have vacated the premises we are we supposed to use since it is also their lecture house we are running helter skelter there was too much noise in the campus so i have to call some of them to ask what exactly is going on they now say they never knew that a mermaid agent has been plating hair in this campus for years and, and it's also their cosmate and student without discovering and i ask how did you then find out they say it happened that there, there is this particular lady her plating skills is exceptional and that one of the of the thing that made them to always patronize her is that she will not only plate your exceptional beautiful hair but she will do it as quickly as possible which enables them to finish plating their hair and, and then go and then face their studies but that this lady actually have policy that one she must plate you in her room two you should never use mirror while she's plating like looking at the hair until she have finished and that she is the one that will look at you and decide the best style for you and each time she actually chooses style that that style happens to be exceptional and then they now agree to her policies and continue doing it like that and they are happy that she's meeting their needs and they're paying the bills but it happened that there is this a particular lady that one day goes to her room to play the hair as usual but come with mirror that along the line she was just touched to look at the mirror so she quickly brought out mirror without the lady noticing that what she saw blew her mind and then asked what exactly did she see she now said that she saw that it is it is not only the hand of the lady plating that hair that many hands we are plating it at the same time and secondly that the lady that is actually plating this hair is headless with her head she only saw different hands plating their hair and she shouted immediately and rushed out 
from the ladies room and then collapsed in the passage and passed out and then by the time she had passed out that that lady had vanished from the campus that what surprised them is that how all her belongings immediately vacated her room was a mystery that they could not explain but but what happened is that they didn't even discover it the very day this thing happened but only what they know is that they find that lady unconscious and with the hair unfinished and they couldn't exactly trace where she's coming from and what really happened so she, they now call the parents to come and take the lady home and that was how the parents the parents took this lady to hospital and when they discovered it's not a hospital matter they started taking her to different churches different prayer ministry until they were able to bring her to a particular strong man of God that was able to liberate her because she did not only pass out she become deaf and dumb immediately that even when she revived she don't speak they don't know why so after much prayers it took 14 good days that this lady come to come back to life it was that very day I came for lecture that the lady returned and gathered them and was telling them what happened and then when they shake even the lady that is plating her and when they visit her apartment they notice that she have vacated with all her properties and is no longer a student in the school and that was it and uh, believe me this world is deeper than what you think a lot of people that is parading in and moving up and down in this world is not humans and uh, that is why when you go to market you sometimes when we are growing up we are told never to bend down and look down because when you bend down you will notice a lot of legs are not touching the ground and you will receive a serious knock on your head from somebody that is not human and that is why you have to be careful the saloon the persons that touches your hair that places who knows what has happened to all those people that have patronized that lady in the past because certainly either they are initiated or their glory has been taken or their destiny believe me something awful must have happened that with time it will begin to begin to unfold in their life so with this i present to you at least seven precautions you must take before going to to braid style or barb your hair in any saloon based on the story number one please anybody that will not allow you to use mirror when he or she is plating you don't allow that person to plate your hair mirror is highly spiritual mirror is not ordinary most of the time the true nature of human being is revealed in the mirror do you know that you can see somebody that is so beautiful you wouldn't know that it's mermaid agent and probably that person was beautified in the in their kingdom to come and seduce men when you want to know the true nature of that person use mirror to side that person you'll be surprised that you're looking at and as somebody who might not be as beautiful as has been painted because i don't believe that anybody's ugly everything that God created is actually good but the truth is that some people are not human so you have to be very careful number two before you go to make your hair in any saloon whether barbing whether plating whether braiding it will be very good that you make sure you hold your head and pray fervently declaring that no evil hand is permitted to touch this hair and then that you cover your hair with blood of Jesus and your entire body with blood of Jesus. Believe me, once you get into that evil saloon to try to make hair, the glory you carry will overshadow their evil powers. They will give you one reason or the other why they will not make your hair. Once you see hear such reasons, please don't persuade them. Just leave immediately. Know that those people are evil. Number three, as much as possible, scan where you are making hair bible said that we should be sober be vigilant that our adversary the devil goes about looking for who to devour if as much as possible before you choose any place as a place of making hair try to know the history of that place know who is there and then find out the in the past one or two people that that person have made hair and what is the, the outcome or reaction and the, even at that, Bible said a man's enemy are those of his own household. As much as possible, desist making or plating your hair to people from in the saloon or people that are close to you, those that are close to office, those that are close to your neighborhood. Reason is this: that person might not have evil, evil intention, but if that person is not a good regenerated Christian that is devoid of love of 
money somebody can actually buy that person to harm you with your hair just give that person a big amount of money and ask the person to get your hair that settles it the hair is too mysterious if i begin to tell you mystery things about hair you will be shocked in fact this is a spell that make people to run mad is through their hair that is why you must guard your hair jealously another one is from time to time do cleansing on yourself even if you're a woman let that cleansing your head should be part and parcel of it let me tell you spirituality don't respect that you are looking for beauty you make a fine hair and so on and so forth spirituality is deeper than that most of this cleansing that does not start with our head have limit to what it works in our life so from time to time when you are doing major cleansing if you are plated lose that hair and start from your head that is why if you have partake a mountain of fire deliverance which i have gone you will notice that once you enter there they ask you to remove all that fissure and plated hair you must carry ordinary hair to pass through their deliverance because they know how important your head is and that any spirit that is going to possess you will start with your head and that fish starts to rot from the head so anything that happens to you most of the times they give signals from the head so that is it and again if as much as possible limit your visitation to saloon in certain times let it be that if you are such that like permanent or jail recoil or whatever that is only retouching that you are going to do but if it is intense of washing hair my dear wash your hair by yourself because a lot of people come with different energies to the saloon and when they come with that different energies and all of them mingle together you might contact some negative energies uh, that will corrupt your glory and corrupt your destiny so as much as possible wash your hair by yourself and when you're washing it even if you have dandruff or some irritations you see this camphor is very good in removing dandruff can actually crush camphor inside water and then use it to wash it another thing is you see cloves clove represent arrow spiritually so you can actually get some clove like this quantity is not even a much boil it and get out the water then crush this camphor into it and use it to uh, wash your hair it even helps to grow the hair and make your hair full for those that like growing their hair and again you can actually use rosemary rosemary have a lot of protective aura uh, protection that will not allow any evil, any evil to happen to you and that will help to preserve your glory while even clove if you use it to wash your hair you go to that saloon anybody tries evil it will go back to the sender immediately so you can actually boil rosemary water and then crush camphor into it and use it to wash your hair thoroughly then if you like hot combing, you can go there just for hot combing. And that leads me to the next thing. As much as possible, buy your own hair materials and limit the rate at which you use this. The barber saloon, hair stylist or bladers materials to plate your hair. Because a lot of people's hair has mingled with it. And you might also contact some negative energies. And then you also... From time to time, you see this black pan canal oil. Especially once you have visited and you are feeling some negativity, you can actually use your right middle finger and get this black pan canal oil, anoint it in some strategic places in that hair, declaring that any negative energy that has interfered with this my head, that I'm sending it back to the sender. And again, I have made countless videos about shea butter. Shea butter is not ordinary. You can just go to search button, type Jenny Action TV slash shea butter. You can make shea butter your major hair cream. If you are the one that want to be emitting nice smell from your hair which is good you can actually buy some perf and use it on your hair after you must have rubbed shea butter shea butter helps to grow the hair helps to break every hand of the enemy from your, your life and it helps you in protection and above all it helps you to attract abundance as much as possible you know there is different between those of us who know spirituality and those of us who don't know and that is why some of us will continue to excel above others and we are some evil are happening in the family maybe people are experiencing rising and falling failure at the age of breakthrough untimely dead it will seem as if you are separated and those evil menace will never be part of you let me be sincere with you there are certain days that it is not ideal and good for you to go to make hair that does not mean that for those who wish to go that day or if you're a saloon person that is your livelihood when people come you chase them no but for you there are no spirituality as much as possible avoid making your hair whether babbing plating or blading on wednesday thursday and saturday your glory will shine better 
if you avoid it the best actual day to make hair is on friday and you, when you make your hair on friday bar beat or blade anyone you become untouchable spiritually because even if anybody pick hair there is nothing that person will be able to do with it any arrow or spell anybody will cast on your hair it is not going to work on that day so that is another one another one is this when you go to baby saloon or blading place or even hairdressing saloon, it will be good that any strand of your hair that remove while you are, you are making your hair, try to pick it and pack it and come back to your house, especially on Friday. If you, it is the day you make that hair, just light a little white candle and then start putting it small, small, praying and making affirmation that as this hair come out from your hair, that there will be a replacement of new glory, new anointing, new grace, new aura upon you that as this hair begin to grow and that any man or woman that have hair on the person's head that will try any evil against you that as you are born in this head that is how that person is born into ashes already doing evil against you against your destiny against your life in any way be it in your father's house your mother's house in your village your husband's house in your wife's side anywhere that let that person be born to ashes and by god's grace if you do it very well you will hear news above all anointing breaks the yolk so from time to time get original olive oil and anoint your hair at the time the bible says our head should not lack any oil and if possible you can actually use this in the place of all this other produced hair cream especially if you're not experiencing hair cut and others even if you're experiencing using clove rosemary all of them helps to grow hair recently i also made a video about how rice water helps to grow your hair you can actually grow your hair organically and naturally instead of using all those chemical because your health matters a lot all those entering of dryer and then some of that feature ways of making hair to a great extent damages some cells in your head it's when you are getting old some of these people that you see suffering from damage asthma you see an old person start behaving like a new person and then loses his mind cannot remember people are actually as a result of too much use of dryer and all those dangerous equipment that is being used in the head and then at the end of the day some cells are destroyed and then when the person gets older the person will begin to see the repercussion so please if you have not subscribed to this channel i am sure that you have found value please kindly subscribe hit the bell notification so as to always get my next upload comment on this video share it to everyone my share will be helping a lot of people as to do so may god bless you